Hey there, in this video we will be talking about JSON and its operations in Dart. So JSON stands for JavaScript Object Notation. So why do we need JSON? So most of the time in our modern applications, our application will be interacting with an external entity through the network and you will be needing to transfer your data between the systems in the network. So the problem here is that the data that you send most of the time will not be easily decodable at the other end. So JSON provides an alternate solution to this where you can send data that can be easily decoded and the data that you send is human interpretable and it is really lightweight. So let's look at a typical JSON structure. So if I'm going to declare a variable, my JSON, it has a key and a value. So every JSON object is enclosed between curly parentheses. It is a pair, so it has a key and a value that is separated by a colon. And in order to give a different example, I can say age 23 and name James. So here I have a curly parenthesis. I have two keys. The first one is name and the second one is age. Name has a value which is a string James and age has a value which is a number 23. So if you are familiar with the dart, you can understand that this is just a map. So the map where the keys are of type string and the value can be of any particular type. It can be a number, it can be a string, it can be a boolean, an array or anything. So it is dynamic. So I can, what I can do here is that I can just replace my where or keyword with a map. Of string comma dynamic and it is not going to give me any error so in order to access a particular value you just need to provide the key key name so inside the square bracket I'm going to provide age and if I run it I get 23 so that's how you access values inside a JSON object and the next thing is a JSON array. So a JSON array is nothing but a list of JSON objects. So where my JSON array is going to be nothing but a list of my JSON objects. So I am just going to repeat my, my JSON object and it is not going to throw me any error. So if you look closely, this is nothing but a list of map of string comma dynamic and now let's look at what a serialization is so serialization is converting your object into a dot into a json object so According to Dart documentation, you can do Dart to JSON serialization in two ways. And in this video, I'm going to talk about the first method, which is called manual serialization. So before we explain that, first of all, I'm going to import a library called Dart convert, which is going to be important if you are going to follow a manual serialization approach. Now I'm going to create a class user and I'm going to give two fields first is a name the next is a number which is the age and finally I'm going to provide a constructor containing the name and the age as well for the moment I'm going to comment this out and the dart convert provides us with two powerful methods the dart encode the json encode and the json decode so if i'm going to create an object of our user class and initialize it with a name and an age so with the dot convert library you get the json decode method where 
not JSON decor. In this case, we'll be using a JSON encode method in which you can just provide the object and it will be the encoded into the JSON format. But if I run it now, I will get this error converting object to encodable object failed. So in order to overcome this error, I'll need to provide a and another method to our user class so the method returns a string comma dynamic map and the name of the method is to json and it returns a map so in this case we have a key name whose value is going to be the name of the object and we have a key age whose value is going to be the age of the object. And now if I do the same thing again, I get no error. And if I just print what we did, I get a JSON object of our user class. So this uh, so the JSON encode actually happened without any error because we used this particular method this because we added this particular method so what happens if I just change the method name to my to JSON will it work again it doesn't because it isn't intelligent enough to understand that they both do the same thing but you need to provide the same name to json to the method itself and it works this method the manual serialization it works for simple cases where you have a single class where or a very low number of classes with very few attributes but most commercial projects have multiple classes with a large number of fields and explicitly adding the to JSON method to every class and declaring every field in it is going to be a cumbersome and hassle method. So we'll provide an alternative to that in the next video. And until then, thank you.